It has been a wild finish to a number of the early games. The Saints get back in the victory lane, 28-14. Howie, not only do they win this game today, but by winning this game, they clinch the NFC South. Yeah, and it wasn't pretty. We, we talked about it, particularly at halftime. This offense, for whatever reason, was dominant. I mean, they, maybe the most electric offense in the league. You know, running the ball, passing the ball, defense is playing great, and then they ran into Dallas. And you wonder, was it kind of the Buster Douglas effect and the offense looked sluggish in the first half? And, and it was the Taysom Hill, to me, the Taysom Hill block, block punt that kind of turned the, t- turned the tide for them, and then their offense woke up a little bit in the second half. Cleveland now has won how many? Five? After not winning a single game last year, Michael, the Browns <laughs> have now won five this season, and there's still three left to play. Baker Mayfield woke up feeling dangerous, but you can see it's exciting. It's exciting to watch a Browns game now mm-hmm. because you see a team that you know is, is three and two uh, with Greg Williams as their head coach, which in turn may lead to him being the full time head coach next year. You don't know, but it's just great to see a, a team like these Browns with young players who are excited to play and going against teams that people would think they would have a shot against. They come out and pull off this it's victory. A good job. Yeah, it's a great job yeah. by Greg Williams and and by those players to pick it up. Oh, it's throughout a good the job season. to have. Yeah, it's a whether great it's Greg Williams or someone else, they have a lot of talent. And Carolina on the other ha- on the other side, you know, to lose this game, then they have the Saints twice. They Five have Atlanta in Atlanta yeah. to close out the seasons. It's, it's tough. I think they're, they're pretty much, much eliminated right. themselves. I want to get back to that New England finish. Have you seen anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually at the end of a game, we all say, you know, those plays don't work. You know, you do the hook and lateral unless you're Cal Berkeley, Stanford from back in the day. But look at this as he, as we were watching. Me and Michael went nuts when we saw it because once he fell down right there and he takes this ball to the house. Look at Gronkowski is out there. Once he stumbles, it's over. Once he stumbles, but Gronkowski's out there to knock down the Hail Mary pass as we talked about Howie, and then now he's got to play defender. He's at a disadvantage. He doesn't he doesn't, he doesn't play defense. He usually catches ball. So it's such a tremendous play by the Miami Dolphins, and they get the win by it. And that's who they typically have. Typically, New England will have like a Gronk. They'll have you know a big wide receiver back there. A lot of teams knock do the that. ball down. Then you're looking at a wide receiver as a defender. But a lot of teams do that. But the last thing you expect is going to work, especially Ooh. to get the Patriots. They they practice for every situation. Yep. And I hate to be on that team in the locker room oh. with Belichick right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a flight back to New England from Miami, if which probably won't be fun.